Why is it that all the mer dudes have nipples, but all the mermaids don't? <laughs> Screw nature, I'm gonna eat all of it. What's up guys, welcome back to Tasty Blue. That game that many people think is about eating stuff, but in all reality, it's about life lessons. For example, don't overfeed your goldfish. Everyone should know this is way too much. This is how your precious little pet Nemo gets all puffy and bloated and acquires a taste for human flesh and escapes and devours all of existence. Like, we can't be calling in the military every time your kid is irresponsible. The cheaply made glass prison can't hold me forever, little Timmy. Okay, eventually I'm gonna get out of here and devour everything you've ever known and loved. Just you wait. The goldfish's day will come. We're gonna pretend like I'm not getting flushed down the sink and getting a couple of plumbing concussions along the way. <laughs> He's fine, okay? It's not like he had a good memory to begin with. Like, I'm always amazed that there's so much life out here despite the fact that it's so polluted. Like, it's a real testament to nature's perseverance, even though nature's also delicious. So unfortunately for them, by the time I'm done, there isn't gonna be any life or pollution. Now up until this point, every time Goldie's run into a bigger fish in the sea, we've just eaten stuff and then eaten the bigger fish. <laughs> we always come out on top, but I think today that's gonna change. Now, I I'm pretty sure this is Goldie's last big hurrah, so we're gonna go from being as small as possible to as big as possible, and then move on to something bigger maybe? I can almost understand all of these fish being stupid, but the birds are completely unacceptable. Like, if you're beak to bum with somebody and they get eaten, you don't go to where they just were, right? That is absurd. <laughs> You'd think they would learn, but I suppose this is natural selection at its finest, and natural selection can be a real jerk sometimes. No, no, go away, seal. <laughs> Please, I just want to eat all the birds in the garbage. Funny enough, there aren't too many vegans under the sea, except for maybe that guy, I'm not sure. <laughs> but the general rule of thumb is eat or be eaten, and you better believe that I'm gonna be the one who does the eating. <laughs> Listen, I'm really sorry, Scuba Diver Joe, that might make you a little queasy. I'm sure I could fix that just a second. Hold on, there we go. You see, no more queasiness. <laughs> Problem solved. Yeah, eat or be eaten is really a good motto to live by and maybe die by. Who in their right mind is allowing scuba divers to swim around with an orca? That seems like a huge mistake. I mean, never mind the mutant goldfish. That's completely unpredictable, but even these kayakers are in grave danger, right? I'm doing them a service by warning them with my mouth. Also a bunch of swordfish down here. You think they'd be able to defend themselves in the slightest, but nope, nope, they're just pointy fish. Listen, Willy, I'm getting real sick of your crap, okay? Will you get off my butt? <laughs> it's only a matter of time before you get yours too. Where'd you go, Willy? <laughs> I see a whole bunch of your friends and family swimming around me, but I have a hard time distinguishing which one you are. I'll just eat all of them rather than be considered some kind of Fishist, and then maybe a couple of helicopters for dessert. <laughs> that sounds absolutely scrumptious. <laughs> Wonder how this island is doing. Oh, it turns out not too well. If I can get my fat fishy butt up there, I don't really know where this level's taking us. It, it's like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the final level for the goldfish. So uh, I'm curious, are we gonna end up eating the planet? Probably not, right? Because it's like I said, we're moving on to other fish and fish need planets. Uh, I can get these submarines to fire on one another though. <laughs> you stupid, stupid idiots. Why is there so much air traffic over this war zone? This does not seem right at all. <gasps> yeah, they're just jumbo jets. They're not even military. Oh, that submarine was military, however. Nuclear subs, delicious. <laughs> Subway never has those in stock. I keep asking for them and they make fun of me. Come on now, I just wanna eat a battleship. I feel like that isn't asking too much. Please, maybe a couple more subs tied me over until we can get there. There we go. I am now the king of the ocean. Nothing is big enough to take me down, which means you all must bow down before Goldie the fish. 
<laughs> really should have come up with a more clever name. It's just randomly off the cuff. I'm having a really hard time jumping. It might be because I'm the size of an aircraft carrier. <laughs> oh, we even got a little comic. I'm assuming this must be little Timmy, the dipstick who started all of this. And he ran back to the pet store, got the pet owner, told him that he overfed his fish with cruise liners. <laughs> Bernie Sanders doesn't know what he's supposed to do about it, except for, you know, get eaten like everything else. So now we move on to a level called Dolphin Escape. It's like I said, we're moving on to a bigger fish, kind of. But at the same time, I don't know what happened to the Hawaii-sized goldfish that's swimming around the Atlantic. Or is he still out there? I hope we encounter him. I hope we get big enough to eat him. So it looks like we have a classic ocean amusement park scenario with a trained dolphin being forced to jump through burning hoops and burning itself just a little bit along the way. Now, it's jumping into water. Really not the end of the world as far as we know, because this breaking news, a monster goldfish is terrorizing our oceans. He is still out there. <laughs> He's moved on to bigger cruise ships too. The goldfish is out of control. It keeps growing bigger and bigger. Scientists say that the goldfish was an ordinary sized pet before it escaped from captivity. You see, they always say that the news perpetuates violence. Like, it's always inciting copycats. Or in this case, copy fish, copy mammals, shut up. I'm well aware that whales and dolphins are not fish, okay? It's just a loose turn of phrase. It's not like it matters. Okay, they all taste the same. They all swim around for our amusement. They all get fed fish and jump through burning hoops. Okay, whales might not jump through burning hoops. I'm not really sure about that, but at the same time, I do hope that I can jump through this hoop enough so that my little fish handler will give me enough fish so that I can consume him. That would be much appreciated, ow. Okay, so it really is on fire. It's not just for show. Thanks for letting me know. Steve, I really do appreciate all the free food, but I feel like we need to talk. You know, oppressor to captive. You know, I'm really trying my best to jump through this burning hoop here, but the audience is underwater. Why are people watching from underwater? Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody is watching me, Steve. So I'm going to eat the hoop and I am going to... I should not be over here. No, no, no. I will be in the next pen over if anybody needs me. Ooh, yeah, the kids are really going to enjoy this show. <laughs> Whoops. I love that this dolphin just never thought about the idea of escaping. He's like, eh, you know what? It didn't really come to mind until I heard about it on the news, and then I just decided, screw it. I'm gonna be five meters long and eating sharks and aquacars. Um, uh, I'm a little taken back by how big I am already. It makes sense. Right, a dolphin is a heck of a lot bigger than a goldfish, but at the same time, I, I, every time I play this game, all I can think of is how far is this going to go? I don't think the dolphin can eat the whole planet, because again, there are more species in the game, but at the very least, I want to get to the point where we can eat that goldfish. <laughs> it's got to happen, right? As much as I enjoyed being Goldie, I would love eating Goldie a whole lot more. Moving on to a level called Coral Crunch, and I can only imagine this is gonna have us eating Nemo and friends, <laughs> which I'm totally okay with, right? Uh, we'll just make sure to eat all of them. We'll leave behind any single parents, any single children. Just make sure that there isn't any possibility for a box office hit. Everything will be fine. <laughs> Eating every last one of them may be easier said than done. They're a squirmy little squishy bunch. <laughs> they keep popping up out of the sand and the algae, so I guess we'll just go ahead and eat all of that. Right? Yeah, let's see you guys pop out of it now. I didn't think so. <laughs> That's a lovely log you got there. It'd be a shame if somebody turned around and ate it in just a second. First, you gotta clean up all of this. There we go. Oh, I think we might have missed some. Well, I guess Nemo 2 is coming soon. There probably already is a Nemo 2, isn't there? I'm old, okay? A lifeguard luncheon is exactly what I need, okay? I don't have a vendetta against nature. Fish didn't do anything against me. It was humans who captured me. It just so happens that fish are delicious and they'll get me to where I want to be. <laughs> and where I want to be is devouring you two, especially the one in the pink. How you doing? 
I probably shouldn't hit on the swimmers, should I? <laughs> like, dolphins have a bit of a bad reputation for banging people, so we should make our intentions clear in that we wish to devour them. <laughs> swimmers, scuba divers, it's all the same. I'm not picky. What I really want most right now is to eat you. You look just like the person who used to abuse me. It doesn't matter how many life preservers you sacrifice to me, I will get you. As soon as I stop having a fishy seizure right now, can I just, can I get off of this? There we go, and a bit of a wind up. Oh, he's protected. No, no, I gotta eat the whole tower. Fine, I'm coming for you, tower. There's gotta be a tipping point coming up soon, right? There it is. Why would they get out of the tower now? <laughs> Such a mistake. And again, what kind of Disneyland are we swimming around in? <laughs> Am I just not privy to the fact that this is a thing? I don't go outside all that much. So maybe this is something that people do on vacation. They scuba dive, they snorkel, they drive aqua cars through tunnels and have towers devoured by dolphins. Yeah, that, that's probably not part of it, but still. <laughs> Just really, really confused, and it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day, even a confused dolphin is hungry. Unless my confused, hungry dolphin is about to sprout wings, I have no idea what this level is talking about. Why am I falling? What? How did I get all the way up here? Did I eat my way into a plane? What is happening? I can't go up, so I'm not swimming. We are falling. Those are clouds, and these are seagulls. Man, imagine being a seagull, just getting eaten by a dolphin in midair. Talk about a bad day. W where am I going? I gotta splash down eventually, right? <laughs> There's nothing to even eat. Oh, never mind. No, we got bigger birds now. We've got uh, bigger seagulls. Okay, just different bigger seagulls. Sure. Not gonna lie, could have really used those wings because it is incredibly difficult to steer a dolphin in the air. <laughs> These flippers are kind of useless up here. I think we're getting closer to the ground, right? It, ooh, it looks like it. Okay, yeah. Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> Everyone in my mouth, thank you very much. Did I just see, oh, it's a water bomber that picked me up and dropped me. Well, I don't appreciate that one bit. <laughs> he said I didn't land on a fire, I suppose. Now I've gone from being confused by the titles of these levels to not understanding what the word means. What's a merpeeps? <laughs> a merpeeps? Oh, like mer people. Oh, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I want to eat all the merpeeps. Yeah, it doesn't only have to be mermaids. It can be mer. Dudes, mer butlers. I don't know. What's the opposite of a mermaid? I suppose if we're asking the hard-hitting questions, I gotta wonder why are they hanging out with these sea cows? <gasps> or how have these people not realized what's going on right below the ma'am? Oh, okay, cool. I guess I'm just gonna grind along the top of your boat. Do you realize people never want to listen to a dolphin? Do you have any idea that there's there's mer peeps down here? All the mer peeps. Why is it that all the mer dudes have nipples? but all the mermaids don't. Screw nature, I'm gonna eat all of it. An ocean without mermaid nips is not one that I care to be a part of, but okay, fine then. <gasps> well, if I can't have it my way, then no one can. Some of them scream like people, and then others scream like fish, and I don't know which one disturbs me more. <laughs> I don't know how a mermaid should scream. Hopefully quietly. I, I don't want to disturb all the people on the surface. And by disturb, I mean warn. <laughs> Sailboats are quick to get away, but super scrumptious. There we go. You see, I fixed nature. Moving on to a level called Dolphin Free. And I could have sworn I was already free, right? I feel pretty free. You don't usually have captive dolphins eating entire schools of merpeeps. And I don't mean fish school, I, I mean like high school. There was a whole bunch of them. But now I'm free to eat helicopters. Oh, I'm 13 meters long all of a sudden. Okay. So things are ramping up a little bit, he says, as he devours a whale. 
something keeps taking pot shots at me. And I don't think it's these helicopters, right? These look and taste more like news helicopters. <laughs> like weather choppers. But, oh, it's you! Oh, no, no, hey, 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 they were just trying to do their job. That's, <gasps> that's rude, but it's really more so incompetent. There we go. Okay, well, if the goldfish took care of the Navy, I suppose I could take care of the Air Force. Was that a Kraken? Did I just, oh, hey, Kraken. Krakens, sorry. <laughs> Good to see you guys. I'll be with you in just a moment. Huh. I don't know what that is. Maybe some kind of fancy resort, so we'll taste that in just a second. Now, now, dolphin, don't go filling up on Krakens, okay? We got nuclear subs to devour. There we go. These stupid missiles or torpedoes won't stop following me. Okay, so we are definitely at goldfish size now, but we're nowhere near done. So, again, how far is this gonna go? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Tasty Blue, guys. We got through quite a few levels with the dolphin today. I think next time we'll probably wrap that up. If you guys wanna see that, you know, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, let me know, and then maybe we'll also be able to move on to the bigger, toothier creature in the sea. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.